my question for today is um what are we gonna do about all these cuomo bros what's with these cuomo bros and i know it's kind of a lighter one but it's friday i thought we'd go lighter and uh i know in many ways i'm preaching to the choir but here's the deal there's some there's still a lot of people out there that don't realize that this is hypocrisy to the nth degree and hopefully one of those people sees this clip or is watching right now and realizes wow yeah this is bullshit this is bullshit cynthia nixon is a progressive she's also a new face she's fresh blood she's got a heck of a following already and she's a woman and she's well spoken why did the dnc who said we're going to remain neutral in races support andrew cuomo over her they want more diversity in the party or so they claim they want more women the resistance was really quick to take credit for all the DSA victories in Pennsylvania saying, yeah, this is because of the resistance. This is because they're women. So why, why is the DNC, why, why do we have these Cuomo bros now? Why is, why, why did they support Andrew Cuomo over Cynthia Nixon? Tom Perez, you Cuomo bro. Hillary Clinton, you Cuomo bro. The Democratic establishment, you Cuomo bros. So why'd they do it? What's wrong with Cynthia Nixon? If, if Andrew Cuomo is the more like an old, an old white guy, that's what Andrew Cuomo is. Why is he more electable? Why, DNC, is he the most electable person? Explain it to me. He's actually not that popular. You know what he did? You know what he did? Uh, at the start of the new year, the first thing he did was screw over homeless people. That was how he started the year. He started the year screwing over homeless people. And again, I know we're preaching to the choir here. I know a lot of you guys realize, look, he's in the club and that's what they want. They want somebody that's in the club. They want somebody that's not going to the, rock the boat. They don't want actually progressive ideas. And how many more, for instances, do you need? But it's important that we talk about these four instances. It's necessary. Because there's still not a lot of us. There's still only so many of us. I mean, I mean, how many times... I lost count of how many times uh, Hillary supporters called me sexist because I didn't like Hillary Clinton. Even though, you know what we had in, in common in 2016? We both voted for a woman, by the way. Just for the record, we both voted for a woman. So, <laughs> loyalty over purity, Cappuccino Conservative says. And what is that? Somebody said that to me on Twitter. They were like, well, they're just trying to find the most electable, not support the, quote, purest candidate. What does that even mean? Purity, quote unquote, is synonymous for actually having ideas. That's defined as purity now. You have ideas. You're a purist. You, you, you don't... The way we do it here, the Democrats have no ideas. The Republicans have awful ideas. And then the Democrats help them sell those awful ideas. That's bipartisanship. That is bipartisanship. The Democrats have an awful idea. The Repu or, or, Excuse me. The Republicans have an awful idea. The Democrats help them sell it. Cynthia Nixon is totally electable. Yes, she most certainly is.
If anybody in this chat has any ideas why Andrew Cuomo will be more electable than Cynthia Nixon, it is such blatant hypocrisy because the Democrats, the establishment Democrats, all they have are identity politics. That's all they have. That's just the reality of it. They can't get progressives on policy. And I don't know about you guys, like, uh, and feel free to answer this question. On the campaign trail in 2016, I asked so many Hillary supporters, I was like, what's one policy of hers you like better than one of Bernie's? I never got an answer. I never got an answer. The answer I got was, come on, Ron. Even, hey, you're being sexist, Ron. How? You're being sex. How? You don't even realize it. You're being sexist. Talk about gaslighting 101. I was told that, by the way, by a family member. Told me, Ron, you don't even realize that you're being sexist. How? I'm talking about policy ideas. And I'm saying I prefer Bernie. And I'm asking you, what is one policy idea of Hillary's you like better than Bernie's and you don't have an answer for me? Like, you don't have an answer. And then you know what I got recently from that same family member? Ron, you were right. And again, I know I'm preaching to the choir, and, and I, but it's just... We have to call out this hypocrisy when we see it because there's still not there's still so many people that haven't come around to this yet. And if they realize how grossly hypocritical it is that now that they're supporting Andrew Cuomo over Cynthia Nixon after saying they'd remain neutral, that has proven the Democrats first priority is stopping progressives in their tracks. That's their first priority. Their second priority is keeping the donors happen, happy. Keeping the donors happen. It's Friday, guys. Come on. <laughs> they got to keep those donors happen. They have to make sure the donors happen. That is true. But their, first, their second priority, keeping the donors happy, which, by the way, is, it kind of goes hand in hand with, uh, with priority number one. You know, those aren't that much different. That's why priority number one is where it's at. And then priority number three is maybe beating a Republican. That's it. That's it. I, I mean, it's been... It's just so, like, slapping people in the face. Like, it's just slapping people in the face so distinctly. And then a lot of people, they still don't realize it. And, and that's why I'm still calling out these hypocrisies when I see them. How hypocritical the establishment that if you didn't like Hillary Clinton, you were sexist. Point blank. No discussion. You didn't support Hillary Clinton. You were sexist. End of story. Meanwhile, they will go support Andrew Cuomo over Cynthia Nixon without the bat of an eye. How is that any different? You guys are Cuomo bros. You guys are Cuomo bros. Tom Perez, you're a Cuomo bro. Hillary Clinton, you're a Cuomo bro. Democratic establishment, you're a bunch of sexist Cuomo bros. Did they say anything about policies Andrew Cuomo had that they like better? I didn't hear anything. Did you guys? I didn't hear anything. What do they have against Cynthia Nixon's policies? They got nothing. So all they can say is, oh, she's not electable. Really? A popular actress... A popular actress, popular at the grassroots level. Celebrities are kind of hip right now. Look at who the president is. Let me go to the chat here a little bit. Uh, let them eat spam, Steve Mnuchin. <laughs> My guest says, shut up, Ron. That's your white privilege. We're Trump-loving Russian bots to them. How about we don't even bother with giving into this useless identity politics shamming and stick to policy? 
I am sticking to policy. I'm asking the question. Why is why is Andrew Cuomo more electable? Why is Andrew Cuomo more electable? What's one policy idea he has? Screwing over homeless people. That's that's the last thing I can think of that he did. On New York City, January 1st. He signed a thing for further demonizing homeless people, which if you've been to New York City in the past 10 years, you want a city that really comes down hard on the homeless. Wow. New York City. I was walking through New York City once at 5.30 a.m. because I was catching a bus. And you know what they do to get the homeless people out of Times Square in the Manhattan area? They go around blasting music at full blast. And the song that they were blasting when I was walking by, I kid you not, was Fortunate Son by Credence Clearwater Revival. That's what they do in New York City. To the homeless, that's what they do in New York City. Andrew Cuomo signs legislation to screw over those people further. Andrew Cuomo's not that popular. Cynthia Nixon is against fracking. She's for living wages. She's for free college. She's for single payer. The Democratic establishment has no rebuttal to any of those policies' positions. None of them. Because Hillary was against all those things. And what did they say of you post-Hillary? You're a sexist. Now you're seeing the hypocrisy come into full form. This is hypocrisy to the nth degree that they're supporting Andrew Cuomo over Cynthia Nixon. And when we call that out, we're not stooping down to their level and playing identity politics because we have nothing else. We're exposing another layer of their hypocrisy. That's what we're doing. And we need to expose that. Why? Because there's still only so many of us. Uh, thank you for the super chat contribution. Plantastic life. That's a cool screen name, by the way. Uh, I don't think you, you don't call it a screen name anymore, do you? You totally don't do that. It's a, what is it called in, in the sense of YouTube? Like uh, channel? Is it? Are we all just channels? Like what do you call the names? Of, like handles? Is it handles? I mean, on Twitter, it's a handle. What is it on YouTube? The Intercept article from May 23rd entitled Party Leaders Are Not Just Strategic Geniuses, They Just Really Like Moderates, New Research Finds, backs up your case. It sounds like it would. Yarrow points out, from what I've seen on Twitter, Cuomo bros keep bringing up all the, quote, progressive qual policies Cuomo has proposed, but failing to mention how they didn't pass because of the IDC colluding with the, G the GOP. I haven't even seen that. I haven't, I haven't seen any policy talk. Just that, oh, he's the most electable. But what, what reason? What reason? How is he more electable? How is, she's everything the DNC claims they want. New blood. New ideas. Diversity. She's all those things. Andrew Cuomo? None of them, really. Why, why are you supporting him over her? I've seen no policy. And even if even if they said, oh, he purport, supports progressive policy, so does she. So does she. And he's done a few not so great things as of recent. So why either don't support anyone and remain neutral like you said you were going to do? Or why not give some new blood a chance? Because you're hypocrites. Because you just want to please the donors and stop progressives. That's what you're there for. That's what the DNC exists for. Name recognition is strong. That's another, that's another thing they've thrown at you and you guys pointed out in the chat. Name recognition is strong. How'd that work for Hillary Clinton? DNC. How'd that work out for Hillary Clinton? Name recognition is strong. How'd that work for Hillary Clinton? 
Remember all that name recognition Bernie Sanders had going into 2016? No? Me neither. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.